okay, I'm not one for name dropping. In fact, Barack Obama once told me not to name drop. At least I think that's what he said. When it comes to names, it's tricky to get just the right one to drop for your new business. It's also crucial that you do get the right one. Think of your business name as the building block of the whole company. If it's right, everything can be built steadily on top. If not, it won't take long until you run into trouble and it all comes tumbling down. Today's 7 Hacks is going to help you play the name game and find the best one for your new business. 1. Simple Pleasures Keep your name simple. Don't go for anything too obscure. If the name is very far removed from what the business does, potential customers won't be able to find you. For the very same reason, don't misspell your name. Remember to say your name aloud, as things that seem great on paper can sound very different in conversation. 2. On Target Who's your target audience? Think of something that will appeal to them. You want it to be catchy, punchy, but not too out there. If your target audience connects with your name, they've already made a subconscious connection to your company. 3. Mean Business Google and Yahoo are two of the biggest companies in the world and we all know what they do and what they offer customers. But what do their names mean? What do they have to do with the business? If both companies were just starting out now, we wouldn't have a clue what their core business was. If you pick a fairly cool but ultimately meaningless name, be prepared to work extra hard to explain what the company does. This could mean some smart social media, clever branding or spending a lot of money in advertising. 4. Geography Lesson Steer clear of putting where you're from in your company name. You might want to pay tribute by putting your hometown in there, but do you really want Glasgow, Edinburgh or Ochtermugstie in your name as your firm grows? Trust me, it can end up being a millstone around your neck. It can limit growth and opportunities, as potential clients could think of it as being a local parochial company. Look at KFC, originally Kentucky Fried Chicken, the name change signified a wider outlook. 5. Feedback for good OK, so you've managed to come up with three or four good names. Now ask trusted friends and family and potential clients or customers what they think. They might point out negative connotations that haven't occurred to you. If there's one name that you really have your heart set on and there's no obvious reasons not to use it, don't be swayed by others' negativity. You don't need to come up with a name through committee, trust your instinct. 6. Domain Event Right, you've got your name, you've checked, and you can't see anyone else using it. Next, you need to snap up a domain name. There are a lot of options you could go for .net or .biz, but I always think .com or .co.uk sound more established and trustworthy. Check godaddy.com to see what domain names are available. Even if you aren't thinking about a website just yet, snap up a domain name. Do the same on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Check the web address to make sure it doesn't spell anything silly, rude or dodgy and do the same for hashtags. 7. Change days This is really important. If your name isn't right, change it. You're the one who has to believe in your company 100% and that starts with the name. Better to change it at the start than wait a couple of years down the line. In saying that, I don't think I'll ever forgive Marathon being renamed Snickers or Opal Fruits becoming Starburst. Have my tips inspired you? Will your company become a household name? I do hope so and I hope you keep me posted. I also hope you'll hit the subscribe button to my YouTube channel. It's full of incredible tips to help you and your new business grow and grow.